In this tutorial, I'll show you how to run this app, which is the first example app in the Blend for Web user manual. To do this tutorial, you must have installed the Blend for Web SDK software development kit. I'm double clicking on the SDK folder to go into it. You'll see various folders and files. Index.html is the SDK's main index web page. Double click to open it. At the moment, the development server is not running. For more advanced apps, you need a web server. For our beginners apps, you don't. Click the link for the user manual. Scroll down and click for application developers. Scroll down and click application programming. Drag to select the listing. Right click and copy and paste into a text editor. I'm using Windows Notepad. And now we're in an editor, we can change the script. File, save. I'm going to make a folder outside of the SDK folder, my temp. Go into the folder, change the save type to all files and call the file hello1.html and save. So what does the script do? Well, the first script tag points to or imports an external JavaScript file, which is the Blend for Web Engine or Blend for Web API, which is a library of JavaScript modules as the description says, the engine library is embedded with the script element. In between the next opening and closing script tags is the definition of a function, function hello. The require function returns a link or pointer to the version module. The M stands for module. The version module has several functions you can use. One of them is version that returns the version number of Blend for Web you are using. So this line becomes hello Blend for Web, the version number and an exclamation mark. And body in a HTML puts the text into the body of the web page. The onload equals hello runs the hello function immediately after the web page has loaded. All Blend for Web's modules are listed in the API documentation. At the bottom of the list of modules is the version module. It has five methods or functions. We use the version function, which gets the version. For the script to work, it must find the external file b4w.min.js. The file can be copied from the SDK's deploy apps common folder. In the blend for web SDK folder, in the deploy folder, apps, common, right click and copy the file and paste it into the folder with the web page. Double click to open the web page in the browser and we get our message complete with the version number. That's the end of this tutorial. We have run an app that uses the Blend for Web API but we haven't used Blender and we haven't got a 3D scene. In the next tutorial I will look at the example apps that load a 3D scene exported from Blender. I'll put the hello1.html file for you to download at my website. Click the link or the eye icon. If you'd like to subscribe, click the link or the stickman. Thanks for watching and goodbye.